Hey there, hello, this is Kylie Cooper and this is my story of how I got started with Beachbody first as a customer on my own weight loss journey and how that dubbed into coaching and creating um, this business of my own from home, uh, leaving the teaching profession just a couple years in. So to start, I have to take you all the way back to May of 2015 and that was when my coach reached out to me on a Friday uh, during my prep period. I don't know how she knew that it was my prep period um, but she sent me a message and I was at that time five, five and a half months postpartum with my first baby and if you've ever been pregnant, you've ever been postpartum or know anybody that has, it is a challenge and your first time especially because you just know there's all there's all these things happening and you go back to work and you do these things and all of a sudden like I just felt like I was just carrying the weight of everything on my shoulders and as much as I wanted to lose weight as much as I wanted to take care of myself and my health I didn't know how and it just always got pushed on the back burner so it was a Friday I was wearing like the jeans the jeans that just always fit no matter what but I had them on, I had on a, like a compression tank top, a t-shirt, a sweatshirt like this, and it was May, so it was warm. And But I had three layers on because those it jeans just weren't working. Um, also to give you a little more context, so I commuted to work, I taught fifth grade through 12th grade, um, I was a group fitness instructor, so I actually taught group fitness classes throughout the week. Um, like I said, I had a five and a half five and a half month old baby who did not like to sleep. My husband worked crazy hours, like six to five, um, and also I was an athletics coach. I caught I coached cross country and softball. So when my coach reached out to me, like I was on the outside, not somebody that you would typically invite, but she did. She invited me, asked her a few questions. I signed up within the, within the hour because I'm like, home workouts, sign me up, something I can do easily while my daughter's sleeping or playing with me or whatever. And then also the nutrition part of it. I was really needing just sort of a meal plan, some guidance, some, some easy to use process to follow. So I signed up, did the three weeks. I started on Memorial Day. I did 21 day fix started three weeks, start to finish, no cheats. I just totally committed and went all in. I lost 10 pounds and 10 inches, but more so I just really started to feel like myself again. I really started to, to feel that confidence come back into me. And, and I hadn't had that for a very, very long time being pregnant, first time pregnant, all those kind of things. So I just started to feel instantly better about myself and I treated everybody around me better and just was happier really. So kept going, kept doing 21 day fix, switched up to 21 day fix extreme, all these different things. And all along the way, my coach kept reaching out. She's like, Kylie, you should be a coach. And I was like, thank you. Thank you so much. But I just want to focus on me. I kept telling her that because it, it was true. I just really was at a place. I had a lot going on. I was still teaching group fitness. I was still coaching softball, still had a baby, like all these things. I still had time, but yet I still had time to watch Netflix for two and three, four hours a day, right? Side note, but I kept putting her off, kept putting her off. And then finally in July, so about two months later, I saw her at Beachbody's annual conference called Summit. She was in Nashville. And by this time, I started following other Beachbody coaches, just different people in the network and things like that. And one of the people that I followed was just like my dream person. Like she, ex-teacher, just super fit, super in shape. Like she was just, she was a fitness instructor, just kind of the person I looked up to. And when I saw, I was laying in bed, scrolling on my phone, and I saw my coach was actually at the same restaurant as this person I'd been creeping and following and become obsessed with. I'm laying there in bed and I'm like, why am I in Iowa right now? Like, why am I not in Nashville with my idol, the person that I watch all the time? Like, why am I not doing this? So I woke up the next morning, did my workout. I found a picture from when I started to where I was now. Um, I did a side-by-side. -side. I wrote up a post. I waited until my coach got home. 
waited to give her some time with her family. And then I messaged her. I'm like, I'm in, I'm in this coaching thing. I went back to the sneak peeks. I watched the videos while she was still gone. I'm like, I'm in. As soon as I messaged her, I posted my transformation. I posted my little story. I shut my phone because I was so nervous. And I told my husband, I'm like, don't tell me what the comments, the like, like nothing. I just figured nobody would like it. Nobody would comment. Um, and so did that post, came back a couple hours later to messages and people interested and wanting to know more information. And I just went from there. I didn't wait for somebody to tell me what to do. I just went and did it. And so I helped six people this first couple of weeks of being a coach and went on to August and just kept, kept the momentum going. I went back to school. I started, which I think was really good. I started in the summer when I didn't have all of my teaching responsibilities. So I had a little bit of extra time. I cut out some of the Netflix or while we were watching Netflix, I was on my my computer or I was messaging people on my phone, you know, things like that. I kind of shifted my priorities a little bit, went back to school, went back to coaching, was still doing group fitness classes, all these things. And I just added coaching on my plate, but you know, it didn't really feel like it took up more space because I loved it so much. Like I loved helping other people feel what I felt after those first three weeks of feeling more confident, feeling happier, just feeling more energetic and more like themselves. And so it just kept going. I kept teaching. I kept coaching. I kept doing my business, all these kind of things, growing, adding more people to our team. We really formed a strong foundation of women that just, we linked arms and just continued to help other people grew on social media, just all those different things. And eventually down the road, we came to a crossroads really where I grew my business so much and I loved my business so much. And our family was growing, going through changes. And we kind of came to a cross border. It was like, I either need to let one of the two go because I couldn't do coaching full-time, my business full-time, teaching full-time, family full-time, and give them all the proper balance that they needed. So financially, we looked at things and we were at a point where I left teaching, went home, um, started working my business from home. My kids were here. I was more present for my family. Um, and so I, I got to that point and I worked hard in the cracks of my day for a very long time to make that happen. That was not my initial goal, though. I want to make sure you understand that. My initial reason for starting to coach was not to leave teaching. I had no intention of leaving teaching. I didn't want to. Um, I actually started because I had had a part-time job before having my daughter. I worked at that gym that I taught group fitness classes at. I worked at that gym um, and I just did not want to be gone more at night. I did not want to be gone on the weekends to go clean toilets at the gym. Like I wanted to spend that time where I would have been cleaning somebody else's toilets, cleaning my own or <laughs> spending time with my family. So I honestly truly started as a second stream of income to double my student loan payments to cover all those baby clothes I was buying at Target or just the new clothes that I wanted to buy, you know, things like that. So I did not start with that intention of leaving teaching. And it just was that second stream of income that I could produce while still being there for my family. And it eventually grew, like I said, then we hit that crossroads and we made that decision. Um, and so I wouldn't change it because it got us to where we are now. Um, but that was definitely not how I intended on starting. And three fourths of my team, more than that, um, they still work. They still have their regular jobs and this is the same thing, just kind of that part-time side job for them. So I wanted to share with you my story, how I got started. Um, there's a lot of <laughs> um, twists and turns between here and where I left off, but I think, I hope that in some capacity of that, you can see yourself and see that, you know, I was still 15 pounds overweight when I started coaching. I was not at my goal weight. I've been pregnant. I've been postpartum. Um, and every the biggest part of it is just being open to sharing my story and my journey and allowing other people to see themselves in you, where you're at, where you're going and where you want to be. So I hope that was helpful.